here's the nickel way. You guys better step your game up. Yeah, no because kidding. it's getting serious on the Inland Sports Show today. Welcome, I'm Pep Fernandez. You can watch us live and amplified on the Inland Sports YouTube channel. And of course, right here on Fox Sports Radio 1350 AM, we've got a juicy show. I was trying to come up with an, al an analogy of how jam-packed and juicy I, this show is. I didn't bring my bib. You didn't, we got a bib right here. Well, we need it. It's going to get messy in here. We're going to talk NFL draft. Kenny Clark, the pride of Carter High School, Rialto, and uh, UCLA are going to be calling in talking about the NFL draft coming up. Yes, UCLA. Zinc's flying the colors this morning. And uh, we're also going to talk to the UC Riverside women's golf team. Just fresh off their Big West Conference title, their very first on the island of Hawaii, and they're, they're back here to the mainland. They're going to talk with us. And also, if you need more, we've got former Bills, Raiders, Rams, running back Greg Bell. I, I Wikipedia'd him. I'm going to tell him when he comes in here. Looked at all the stats. Dude, he was good. He Greg was. Bell was really good. He was. So he's going to talk about the Los Angeles Rams, the NFL draft. i got to ask him, because they sold the farm, right, to get that number one pick. I want, I want to hear his take. He's kind of shy. We'll, we'll give him to open up on the air a little bit. Yeah, you might have to work <laughs> on him a little bit during the break because, I don't know, he's really, really closed mouth. I know. I'm kidding, of course. Once you hear Greg, you're going you're gonna to be like, man, that guy's good. So, anyways. You're wrong. Uh, we've got a jam-packed show. We've got to get to it all. It's all brought to you by Adrenaline Athletic Training in Corona. Adrenalineathletic.com is the website. They've got travel ball teams. They've got different training programs. They can hook it all the way up. So, please check them out. Adrenalineathletic.com is the website. Spoiled, quick quality oil change in Riverside. Bill Navigato and his team are the best. They're like the Golden State Warriors of oil change. Spoiled. I almost said Lakers, and I was like, I'm not going to do that to Bill. What a slap in the face, wow. right? Right? Yeah. Who's with me? But no one. Nobody's with me? Well, no, but you know what it is? I'm out here by I, I get your Golden State reference. They're okay. very quick around the car. They're very agile when yeah. doing what they're doing. They're changing oil. They're taking wiper blades off and on and vacuuming all that stuff. And they can go deep. They can go deep. And we've got a real tree. Hold on. World famous intern angels in the house as well. He looks like he wants to say something. Yeah, but, but how are Bill's ankles doing right now? Because he's is he the Steph Curry of spoiled? Oh, you know I get it. Yeah, He's referencing the hurt yeah. did, did he turn around the edge of the car too quick and maybe, I don't know. He'll I, be back. I played soccer with Bill growing up. His ankles are fine. He'll be back. Okay, yeah, he'll good. be back. He'll be back. He's running the show. He'll be fine. He'll be back. Uh, it's day-to-day -day right now, but he'll be back. <laughs> so Bill Navigato and his team are the very best. Spoiled, quick quality oil. Hey, and of course, Remax Advantage, 909-307-5665. Give them a call. Remax Advantage. Nobody sells more real estate. Nobody. You can uh, go to RemaxAdvantage.me, offering full-service real estate along with escrow and loans. Joe Miller is a huge Anaheim Ducks fan at Remax Advantage, so I know he's got his eye on the NHL playoffs right now. I saw the Ducks uh, banner on one of the cars out here. Is he here? You would think, right? I keep inviting him in. Well, there's he's big-timing me. Obviously Probably because he's watching the Ducks. That's right. He's got better things to do, I guess. But we've got a big show today. Like I said, uh, Kenny Clark from Carter High School in UCLA is going to be checking in. He's got the NFL draft coming up. But real quick, off the top of my head, can we all agree that Kenny Clark or Sua Cravens will be the first guy off the board from the inland area in the upcoming NFL draft, which begins on Thursday? It seems reasonable. Yeah, that's right. I mean, come on. Come on. Does the sun rise in the east? Yeah. It's going to be him or Sua Cravens, right? I mean, we had a couple other guys that could hear their names called later rounds. But Sua and Kenny Clark, if you listen to all these so-called NFL experts, you look at the mock drafts and all that stuff. Late first, early second, I'm hoping first. That's a big payday when you go in the first round. I'd like to see Kenny go first round. He deserves it. Caught up with Alex Pierce, his head football coach at Carter High School, yesterday. And, of course, he wasn't surprised that Kenny's going to the NFL draft. I mean, the writing was on the wall from a very young age. And he's like, not only did he have the physical ability, I and mean, if you look at the guy, he's built like a brick house. I mean, he's just strong. He has a, a wrestling background as well, which is awesome. Um, but he said the work ethic. I mean, you can't fake the grind. You either put in the work or you don't. And Kenny was the guy that was always putting in the work, plus he had the physical ability. Put them together, I mean, and now he's about to realize a, a dream of playing in the NFL. It's going to come a, become a reality this coming Thursday. Like a long career, too, I can see. He's gonna I'm be predicting good, it now. It's going to be a good long career. I remember, if, if we want to hit the, the rewind button just a little bit, going back to the Inland Empire All-Star Football Classic when he was a senior at Carter High School. They, I remember someone asked me, who stood out in that game? 
And I knew Kenny Clark, and I knew he was a great player. But, I, you know, there were some other really great players that senior year. And I was like, you know what? The guy from Carter, what's his name? Uh, Kenny Clark. I'm like, the guy on the line? He's really good. Of all the guys in that game, he's the one that stood out to me the most. So I remember back from the All-Star game with all the great players there, you know, the best from the Inland Empire, he's the one that stood out to me. And I remember I, I knew a little bit about him, but not a whole lot at that point. Well, and he's also going to join a, a list of Kennys that have made it from UCLA into the NFL. Kenny Easley, Kenny Clark, great stuff. No. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> great insight right there. Yeah. Yeah. You won't find that anywhere else. Yeah, you right pay $5.99 a month show. for that. <laughs> So we got uh, Kenny Clark, we got Stuart stuff. Ravens. There's several other guys that could hear their name called during the NFL draft. And sometimes, if you, this is my own personal opinion, if, you go, if you're going to go like in the fifth or sixth round, maybe it's better that you go undrafted and then you can sign your free agent contract with a team that you actually want to go to. So that's just my take on it. But Kenny Clark looks to be late first, early second. What's hard is they do the first round on Thursday, just the first round. So if you build up all this pomp and circumstance, like, you know, First round, you know, the cameras are on you, a la Aaron Rodgers, and then... Second round, the helium balloons are half drooping. And then nothing around you, so we'll see. So uh, those are the two guys that I'm looking at could be the first two local guys off the board. Yes, It's great we keep getting, every year, more and more guys that are getting into the higher ends of the draft, you know, to be picked. Uh, you know, it used to be you're like, well, I wonder if we're going to get anybody in the draft this year. Now you're looking at, you know, handfuls. And Pep is checked out. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, take, I'm TCOB. As Kramer would say on Seinfeld, TCOB, taking care of business. So, yeah, so we're excited about the NFL draft. I can't wait to hear the local guys called. Every year, I mean, I think Jimmy Smith, remember from Baltimore, yeah. did a big, like, celebration of when he was drafted. So the IE is rich in high school football, and we know that. And basketball, too. And basketball. There's a lot of, there's a lot of great athletes that come from out of this area. And we thank you to intern Ja Rule over here. He went to that... Uh, Sharice Wright signing party not too long ago at Colton High School. Right. And you talked to Sharice Wright, right. Alan Bradford, and Nate Verhey. And if you think of Colton High School, I know we talked a lot about Centennial. But if you look at Colton High School and that run they had in the 2000s, late 2000s, all those guys that came out of the Yellow Jackets program, great, can you believe that? He's got his hands up. Throw him up in the air. <laughs> no, but seriously, they had a great run. They've got a ton of guys in the NFL. It was them and Rancho Verde. Remember, Rancho Verde had a run of guys, too. All right, right now, though, we're going to go straight to the REMAX Advantage Celebrity Hotline. He is a dear friend. We love this guy. It's Kenny Clark of UCLA, the pride of Carter High School. Kenny, we're less than a week away from the NFL draft, so I'm just curious, what are you doing the week leading up to it? Are you trying to chill out? Are you just working out? Like, what is Kenny Clark doing right now? I'm working out. I'm just uh, I'm at UCLA working out with Coach Losey and some of the other NFL guys. And I'm just trying to stay in shape as best as I can and uh, just relax my body. Cause I know it's going to be a, a big year for me, first year. It's going to be one of the longest years I, I have in my life. So just trying to get ready for that. Are you excited? Are you nervous? I mean, how would you describe your feelings? Like, are you, do you just kind of want it to be over with and find out which NFL team you're going to and just go to work? Honestly, yeah, I, I don't think I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm not really um, too nervous. I just really want to just. Just get done with this and, and, and just go to my team and just get to work with my team and, and work towards winning and winning cha winning the championship. I'm not really too nervous about everything. I'm just laying low and staying cool, and just just ready to go. See, you're all cool and calm and collected, but let me guess, is your family and friends, the people around you, are they are they like, Man, Kitty, I'm so excited for you, like this is the best thing ever. Like are the, are the people around you maybe even more excited than you are? Yeah, definitely. They, I mean, my mom, my mom, and everybody are so so happy for me. They just want me to, they just want me to go to to a great organization and um, just just win. And they just they just decided to just have to be able to go to an organization and be able, be able to, to like go out and go to games and stuff like that. So, um, I mean, they're super excited for for about about everything that's going on. They're planning the draft party right now, and they're trying to just get everything situated. Now, Kenny, obviously you're, you're taking care of business, you're working out, you're focusing on just getting better and stuff, but do you get caught up in all those NFL mock drafts or where the experts say you might go? Do you do you read that stuff or you try to stay away from it? I mean, I try to stay away from it, but, I mean, most of my family, most of my family, that's, that's things that they're reading because they don't really know, they don't really know too much about 
the whole draft process. So, uh, I mean, they tell they tell me stuff and, and I hear some things, but um, I mean, my plan is just to just to, to just keep my head on the, on a straight and narrow and just worry about the now. And um, I mean, hopefully, I mean, the team that drafts me, they love me, and uh, we just have a good relationship, and I'll just be ready to go. Hey, Kenny, David Zink with the Press Enterprise. I was curious, uh, throughout all this pro- this whole process, who's giving you the best advice? What's the one thing that you've, ta- you've taken from this so far that's really helped you? Uh, I mean, all of our veteran guys that have really gave me um, advice, all the veteran guards from the past, like Anthony Barr, Eric Kendricks, um, Dayton Jones, or, or those guys, they, they gave me all the um, you know, they gave me all the advice in the world. They're just telling me, just um, and based the process, and uh, I mean, really, just really, just you don't really have to get too high. You don't have to really get too low. The draft is going to be a crazy day for you and your family, so just just relax. And I mean, I think I've really been been taking that advice. I've been just relaxing, working out, and just worrying about me, worrying about what I need to do. Now, Kenny, we talked to uh, Alex Pierce, your head football coach at Carter High School, yesterday, and. He said you're a, you're a unique combination of a guy who has the physical ability, but also the guy who's w- willing to put in the work, you know, to, to make your dreams happen. You have the work ethic. You you know sometimes you know guys try to fake the grind, but those guys they don't rise to the top. He says you've got the work ethic, you've got the natural talent, the physical ability. So he's not surprised that you made it to the NFL. So that you're about to. Um, at what point in your career did you think you know what, you know the NFL is a real possibility? Um, I mean, were you in high school? Maybe it was this last year at UCLA. At what point did it click for you, like, you know what, I think I'm going to play professional football for a career? Uh, I think it uh, definitely had to be my last year at, at UCLA. Well, my last two years, my sophomore, the end of my sophomore year and then, uh, my junior year, just just the way I was playing. And um, basically, I, I mean, just the way we were doing as a team, the way our defense was playing. And uh, I just, I mean, I just felt like, I just felt like it was the best thing for me to do and uh, I just feel like I had two great seasons um, I mean I, I work hard and I know I have the mentality Coach Mora and, and the staff they do a great job of, of giving us, getting us ready I mean they're NFL coaches so they do a good job of, of uh, just running the program like it's an NFL program you know the best way they can and I, I think a lot of our guys I mean they see that and, and we embrace that so well, Kenny, we know you're very busy. You're working out. You've got a big week coming up. We sincerely appreciate you taking the time to call the Inland Sports Show. And, brother, I'll be in touch about that uh, that draft party because I don't want to miss that. Okay, thank you. All right, that's Kenny Clark from UCLA and Carter High School. Thank Eight you, clap. Kenny. We appreciate the time. <laughs> yeah, no problem. A clap. That's Kenny Clark, UCLA, Carter High School. We love that guy. Like, seriously, we interview a lot of guys. And they're, for the most part, they're good dudes. They're good people. Kenny really is a good person that, you know, when good things happen to good people, it just makes you feel good inside, right? Yeah. And he's so low-key. Just a low-key dude. Oh, he just goes about his business, you know, and that's just the way it is. Crazy, because he's got a high motor. Plus, he's a UCLA guy, so of course you like that, right? Oh, yeah. That kind of sweetens the deal for Zinko oh, absolutely. There. I mean, it wasn't by accident you're flying the Bru- Bruins colors in I'm here, I'm Powder right? Blue Smitten right now. Jeez. John, what, what jersey is that? I'm just curious before we hit the break. Oh, excuse me. I'm wearing a Barcelona jersey. Barcelona? Is that Barcelona. Lionel Messi or is that... I, I'm serious. I'm asking. Oh, no. It's just a Barcelona jersey. But is Messi on Barcelona? Of course. Oh, he is? Did, did you... Jeez. Hey, don't ask that question. How dare you? You think he's thought... stupid? <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of, we're going to give Jaw a quiz at the end of the show. What? Yeah, three more. Yeah, we're going to give you some questions. Three more. I've been studying. Three more you can't answer. And some of them are, at least for me, I've got a couple for him, too. So I think we might double up this week. What? You know how they, you know how they go, you know how they have questions. the, you know how they have the, like, it, it, you don't want things to get too close to home? Yeah. All the questions I have are really close to home. Yeah, me too. I've been studying. Me too. All right, we're going to quiz John at the end of the show, but when we come back, the UC Riverside women's golf team fresh off their Big West Conference title on the island of Hawaii. That's coming up on the Inland Sports Show, Fox Sports Radio, 1358. Four. Driving in, getting it done, and, and driving out. We just greet them, get them going, and they're done in about 10 minutes or so. push any sails on them. We do the oil change, uh, and I think that's that's what sets us apart is our, our customer service. 
vacuumed and cleaned your windshield for you as well. Everything's looking pretty good. You come into us one time, believe me, we'll spoil you and you'll be ready to come back the next time. training is definitely specific to what they need. A lot of people actually come in here for the performance training and also we have our travel ball program with our softball and baseball teams. Our performance training definitely to get quicker, stronger, faster. focus on the customer here. Believe it or not, that is the biggest thing for customers on an oil change. They just want to, the convenience of coming in, driving in, getting it done, and, and driving out. Just greet them, get them going, and they're done in about 10 minutes or so. We don't push any sales on them. We do the oil change, uh, and I think that's that's what sets us apart is our, our customer service. Vacuumed and cleaned your windshield for you as well. Everything's looking pretty good. come into us one time, believe me, we'll spoil you and you'll be ready to come back the next time. They're not available in all locations. Compatible vehicle model restrictions and other terms apply. IE Sports heard right here on Fox Sports Radio 1350 and Fox Sports Radio 1350.com. Now here's more with the <laughs> Pony Inland Sports Show. And welcome back to the one and only Inland Sports Show, Fox Sports Radio 1350 AM. Another shout out to Kenny Clark from the UCLA football team in Carter High School in Rialto. He's going to hear his name called during the NFL draft this upcoming week. We love Kenny Clark and he's got a long NFL career in front of him. So we Happy to have him here on the Inland Sports Show, Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM, brought to you by Adrenaline Athletic Training, Spoiled Quick Quality Oil Change, and of course, Remax Advantage. Now joining us on the show, just back from Hawaii, a nice business trip for the Lady Highlanders here. It's the UC Riverside Women's Golf Team and your 2016 Big West Conference Champions. Uh, ladies, uh, maybe we'll start with Coach over here. How does that sound, Coach? Big West Conference champs, the first conference title, right, for the program? That's right. It just sounds amazing. You know, I don't know if it's totally sunken in for the girls, but it feels fantastic. Sounds great. We'd like to have more. So the first of many, hopefully, right? That's right. That's, uh, that's UC, the plan. That's the plan, right? Of course that's the plan. Uh, UC Riverside won the Big West Conference title in Hawaii just this past week. Um, actually, just a couple days ago, technically, right? So wh when did you girls get back? Wednesday, Wednesday night, or Thursday morning, Thursday like morning. 2 a.m. Well, 2 a.m. <laughs> raise your hand. Who had class that ne that next day? You guys are gonna have to step like all of you. Right? <laughs> yeah, step closer. I told you I'm loud. I'm, I apologize. I like to shout and yell. Um, so you get back. You win the Big West Conference title. So professor said you got to come to class. Uh, you can't skip class. I mean, because we're probably getting close to finals. No midterms. Midterms. So it's important, right, to be in class at this point of the year. So you go into the final round, and you're down, right? So what was, maybe we start with coach and just go right to left. What was the message going into the final round? Like, hey, ladies, we're down, but we're not out. We're still right there. 
Uh, we need we need some low scores here to you know get us to where we need to be. So it was Cal Poly, right, that was in the lead going into the final round of the Big West. That's right. Cal Poly was in the lead by three shots, and we we were uh, in second place with Long Beach State. And the message was, you know, play as cleanly as possible, avoid mistakes, really. And um, we had some pretty good strategy on the golf course. We've been in this position before, and. Um, you know, I told the girls that it was going to boil down to how we did around the greens and, and making birdies and putting ourselves in, in good positions for that, and, and we were able to, to take care of business. So I'm really, really proud of the girls. And how about Jakeisha Lee? You're next up. You're, you're in the tee box right now. So what, what did you think going into that final round, knowing that you guys were still there? You're still in the hunt. Um, well, Coach was just saying that we had to – well, mostly around the greens, so we had to just make our putts, and um, I think we all really like chasing after it, so coming from behind, that was what we like to do. So instead of being like the leader of the pack and everyone chasing you, yeah. maybe flying under the radar, maybe just a little bit because you hadn't won a conference championship before, and then kind of maybe sneaking up on everybody, right? Mm -hmm. All right, next up, Hannah Pacini, yes. the pride of Hanford West High School. Bullpups? Huskies. Uh, Huskies. Oh, I'm sorry. That's oh, your rival. Yeah. Yeah. My bad. My bad. My bad. Okay. My bad. No, cool. uh, Hannah had a what, all Big West first team, right? Yes. So it was a great tournament for you. Great, yeah. uh, and I think you carried in the hardware here. If you're wa if you're watching us live and amplified right now on the Inland Sports Channel, they brought the trophy in, and it's huge. It's Can I get a picture with that actually when we get to the commercial break? Okay. Yeah. Uh, just talk about your tournament and what it means to actually bring this hardware back to Riverside. Um, honestly, it's still really speechless to me. I'm still really speechless about it. It just means so much to us and our team. And the support we have behind actually winning this is just amazing. We couldn't be more thankful for it. And, I mean, I had a great season. I had a great tournament. And going to the last day, it was just kind of like I had nothing to lose. So just go leave it all out there. And, um, so yeah, just drop some putts. We had a really good game plan going into the day, and we just got the job done. So it's just really, it's kind of like a little Cinderella story for us. It's really great. Haley Wyan, uh, so you all have the medallions, the medals yeah. around your neck, but um, you wear that to school? Do you walk around campus like, oh, hey, look what I got. Oh, did I have this on? I didn't, didn't, didn't even notice it. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> just for special occasions, but... Um, yeah, I mean, it was so cool to get these. I mean, just the emotions after the round were... I mean, it was all surreal. Um, just being with the team and everything, you could just feel the connection and the love and support we all have for each other. And it was a really, really cool experience. And finally, Chris, the tweet uh, here on the on the end, because we're, we're going to get to, to Paris Griffith in a second. She's live on the phone. I want to I want to hear her story because nothing's bigger than the Inland Sports Show. So for her to miss this, i got to hear what, what's going on. But Chris, uh, down here on the end, so... You guys come back in the final round, kind of like they said, the Cinderella story for you guys to actually win the Big West Conference title. Um, when the scores were coming in, did you girls think, oh, okay, I'm doing some math in my head. Like, is this really happening? Like, what did you think, Krista? Um, I mean, we, I, I had no idea going, like, 17, 18, I had no idea where we stood. I know the girls back on the, the last few holes, they, they more knew, but... Um, it was for sure, like, nerve-wracking, making the last few putts, but, uh, I don't know, like, we, just watching the last couple groups come in, it was like, we kind of knew we had it, so, it was just, yeah, it was a cool moment for a whole team. So, the ladies in the studio right now, who's the last one to come off the course? Paris. Paris was. Yeah. Perfect segue. Yeah. Hey, uh, we've got Paris Griffith live on the line. Paris, listen, everyone knows the Inland Sports Show is a very big deal. So what are you doing today? Um, I'm actually in San Diego, my hometown. My cousin's getting married this afternoon. So I had to come up last night for a rehearsal dinner. Okay, well, that's a good excuse. Uh, so, Paris, you're on the course. The rest of the girls have finished, and they see the scores probably starting to trickle in at this point. Uh, so did you have any idea that your team was in the race? Like, did you feel any pressure maybe finishing up that la those last couple of holes? Um, I, like Krista, I really had um, not much of a clue um, going into the last half of my round. Um, I mean, I think about on 13 or 14, my coach came up to me and was just saying, hey, you know, we need to be clean. Let's just get out of here with some pars, and I think we're going to have a good day. And so I think at that moment, I kind of knew maybe, you know, we had, you know, gained some strokes um, earlier in the round. So pretty much at that point, I think I knew. 
So, Paris, at what point from when you actually got off the course to when you started celebrating, when, like when you did the math, you're like, okay, before they even write it on the big board, uh, I, we got this. Um, like, was your teammates there waiting for you? Like, what did you shoot? What was your final? Like, I think we just won this. Right. Uh, well, I was coming down 18, and since I was the last one to finish, my coach had been walking down with me, like, basically the whole hole, and we were going through all the shots and stuff. And on the green, you know, everyone's there, and I was in the final group that day, so, you know, everyone is out there watching uh, my group come in. And I could just tell, you know, the energy of my team versus other teams was just... <laughs> Wait, so what and were you girls doing? I think like, guys, like, kind of yeah, like... Yeah, we were just, like, hugging like, each other. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. So, Coach, over here, uh, were you stressed out? Like, what was going through your mind? As, as Paris is finishing up here and you're like, oh, man, I, you know, I, are you watching, like, every stroke at the end? Or do you try to back off and let just Paris do her thing? Well, what you guys don't know is that the players don't have access to the live scoring, and the scoring is updated every three holes. So as coach, we have access to that, and we're watching it, but it's delayed. It takes a little while for those you know, three holes to complete and then for it to post. So going into 13, when Paris was on 13, Krista was just beginning to wrap up her 18th hole, and uh, Jakesha had posted her two under par round so at that point uh you know we had our lead had dwindled from the high which was about uh seven oh, seven shot lead down oh, wow. to two so uh although you know that sounds like we got it we don't really have it when when we've got five holes left to play with our final player and you know we have and lots of teams have lost a lot of strokes in one or two holes you know you can have a turnaround of 10 shots between, you know, five players. I mean, mm -hmm. that's extreme, but, I mean, it's happened to us yeah. before. So so nothing's really guaranteed. And I was kind of pushing the girls to continue to go after the plan, which was we, we just wanted to make as many birdies as we could that day. And so Hannah knew she had two birdie holes coming up. Paris knew she had two birdies coming up, two birdie holes. And, uh, you know, Jakesha's two under par was pivotal for kind of mm -hmm. keeping the energy going because I told them, I told the girls that, that Paris had posted that. And Krista had a really solid round. So at the point that Krista posted her number, I knew that Paris really needed to par in. And, and Hannah had a phenomenal back, round, a back nine where she's two under par, or one under par, right? Two under, two under yeah. excuse me. And um, so we kind of had it, but. Um, but like I said, anything can happen. Yeah. Strokes can go away pretty quickly. The other team can can catch on fire. So you never really know until the the last putt really drops. Or for us, it was you know once Paris was on the green, you know we can't really mess it up. So, yeah. <laughs> um, well, we've so, got Paris still on the phone, real quick. So Paris, are we holding up the wedding? Are you guys good? No, no, I have all the time. Okay, okay. I just want to make sure you know. Bride and groom aren't at the altar waiting for us to finish up our show here, waiting for Paris. Uh, but Paris, before we let you go here, let me ask you, uh, there's still some unfinished business. You got the Big West Conference title, you finished fourth at the tournament. Now you girls find out on Monday, right? Um, to find out who, uh, you know, is where you're going to go, who you're going to play, right, all that stuff. So, so Paris, what are your thoughts as you uh, continue the season and uh, go to, is it, it's the regional, right? On, That's right. You find out. So, Paris, what are your thoughts of keeping the season going and, and see where it takes you? Um, I'm just super excited for the team and all of our capabilities and everything we've accomplished this season. Uh, I think we have a really good chance uh, going into the regionals. And, I mean, we're coming off of, obviously, like, a really good win here. So I think we have nothing but positive vibes. And I think we're just going to keep our spirits really high and hope for the best. All right, Paris. In enjoy the wedding. We appreciate you calling, and we'll we'll let you get uh get back to the wedding festivities. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate uh, you guys having us out. All right, that's Paris Griffith live on the Inland Sports Show. Paris, we'll talk to you later. Thank you. All right, that was Paris Griffith. So, ladies, uh, no seniors, right? That's right. So, Coach, uh, you know, you said, hey, this is the hopefully the first of many. Uh, can you see this team, you know, I know there's still season in front of you this year, but next year putting together another special season that could end in a conference title. Well, that, honestly, that is the plan. That was kind of what I've been thinking this whole year. We weren't quite sure how we would end up, what our national ranking would be. We thought of this team as a, or this year as a, a building year for us since we graduated two seniors last year who were our one and one and two players. 
Um, so, you know, we are developing really quickly. The girls are, are getting better and better all the time, and um, we have incredible momentum. You know, this is our third win of the year, obviously the biggest one. Uh, but, but we're looking forward to next year with a little bit stronger of a schedule, and um, we're, we're just going to do what we've been doing and, and continue this streak, hopefully. Is it just icing on the cake at this point? Just like, hey, you know what? We won our we won our conference title. We're going to regionals now. You know, we're gonna let it all hang out. We, we weren't supposed to win conference anyways. We're here at regionals. We're just gonna you know, go out there and enjoy the moment and play some of our best golf. You guys kind of have that feeling, like you know what? We we set out to win conference. We got the job done. Now let's just go have some fun. Yeah, I mean, I think we play our best golf when we're having fun, honestly, and that's kind of been the theme of this last spring season. You know, it's just really trying to find the enjoyment and the fun in the game, and honestly, that's when the best scores come out for us. It's kind of funny, Kristen and Haley are kind of like hiding behind the, the Big West Conference trophy. <laughs> it's that big, it's that big in the studio. We'll take some pictures and we'll put it on our social media as well. Uh, final question, ladies. That golf course... Was it just amazing out there? I mean, obviously, you got to go in there focused, and you got a job to do, and you want to win conference. But that it's a beautiful place. It's a beautiful course. Uh, did you take a moment to maybe kind of soak in where you were at? Totally. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little different than Hanford, right? Oh, totally better than Hanford. Yeah. No, like Haley said, like it was one of those moments, or that week, the whole the whole week was just a moment where if you weren't having fun. There was, like, I don't understand how you could not have, because you could just look around, see the ocean, the water, you were right there. It was just, it was gorgeous, and we got to play, we had two practice rounds and three rounds of competing. I played five rounds at Kapaloa. That's awesome. Never really gets to happen for people, so we were just really blessed for that. So, Coach Richie, when you go to a place like Hawaii, do you try to do, like, some team building stuff, like, kind of take their mind off of actually what's going on and how much is at stake? Do you, you know, I don't know, do you go to a luau or do something like that? You know, the eight girls, relax. You know, we're going to have fun tomorrow. We're going to play some great golf. Just chill out a little bit. Let's go take our mind off of what's going on here. Well, typically that is the plan uh, when we go and play at Kapalua because we've done that during spring break for Hawaii's spring break tournament and we have more time. Well, that allows for that. Uh, this time we were kind of all business, but we knew what we needed to do each day with practice, and so the girls had their own free time. And we we're a 10-minute walk from the beach, so they went down to the beach a few times. And that's kind of the delicate balance that needs to happen when you're competing. You know, you need to know when to be intense and when to kind of escape a little bit. And what a no better place than Kapalua to look around and even on the golf course and escape between shots. So I think that was a huge advantage for us, and we know how to appreciate the beauty. So uh, it was just an absolutely amazing experience. We'll, we'll have more fun at spring break. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, go, we'll go snorkeling after we're finished yes. with the tournament. Business first, right? That's Take care right. of some business on the course. And the girls certainly did that. Congratulations to the Lady Highlanders here, your Big West Conference champions, and uh, best of luck next week regionals you find out on monday right where That's you're right. where you're going do you have a hunch where you might end up uh you know I, i'm thinking we might end up at the palo alto uh location that's my hunch second choice for me would be uh shoal creek in in birmingham which is where i went to school oh okay um do you guys have any intuition about i mean coming off hawaii it's like oh everything's downhill from there i guess <laughs> right i mean <laughs> i think anywhere we go we're gonna embrace it yeah, absolutely. Just to be there, right? You, yeah. you won the conference, now you're at regionals. Well, best of luck, ladies. We appreciate you joining us here on the Thank Inland you. Sports Show. Uh, we got a couple more minutes before uh, we hit the break. Could you just hang around? Because I want to get a picture with the trophy and you ladies uh, at the commercial break. Is that cool? Absolutely. All right, so that was the UCR women's golf team and your Big West Conference champions. And, uh, hey, Zink, I know you're out there. Let's move, go ahead and move Greg Bell in here. We're going to keep the ladies around to uh, take some pictures. That's an awesome trophy. Um, so we're going to do that. May I Go mention ahead. one thing? Yeah, 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 absolutely. We have a, a big event next Sunday, which is uh, supported by Raceway Ford. It's at our baseball game. Um, it's a drive event that that uh, raises funds for the women's golf team. Uh -huh. um, it's going to be from 10 until 4 o'clock at uh, Lot 26 on campus. And we'd love your support. If you'll come and test drive some Ford cars with us, um, we'd And really that's a lot right next that. to, like, the track the track and the, and no, the softball diamond? No, that's right diamond? next to the baseball diamond. To the baseball diamond. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Thank All right. So there you go. You can check that out as well. All right. We're going to talk L.A. Rams football with Greg Bell. He's a former Bill. He's a former Raider. He's a former Ram. 
And uh, we're going to talk the NFL. We're going to talk about Los Angeles football. We're going to talk about the upcoming NFL draft. And this guy has an opinion about everything. And I know we're going to run out of time with him because he's he's got lots of great things to talk about. Is as David Zink. Oh, I should have got a shot of that. He's hauling out the uh, the Big West Conference trophy. And Jeremiah, tell the ladies to stick around because I, I do want a picture with that. That's too cool. That's a, that's that's all the way from Hawaii. Uh, your Big West Conference champions. We're going to bring Greg Bell in here. Greg, we want to talk uh, some NFL football. But on the subject of UCR, real quick. Walk-off win last night against Long Beach State, 4-3. to three. Vince Fernandez, no relation. I, I don't think it was. Uh, with the walk-off base hit as they beat Long Beach State, um, Austin Sauters tossed a gym last night for the Highlanders, so big win for them. Uh, also, I want to give a shout-out to C- CBU. They went to the, to the Big A, and they won at Angel Stadium against Point Loma. In front of 7,500 people. Yeah, uh, 7,500 plus, so that was pretty cool for the Lancers. And one final baseball note, the Midway Classic. Did you guys hear about this? The yeah. Lake Elsinore Storm is hosting the Carolina versus California League All-Star Game this summer, June 21st. On June 20th, the day before, they they're have their... baseballs off the Midway. Yeah, they're having their All-Star Home Run Derby Contest. Greg, you're going to like this, and I'm sure you'll have an opinion. Home Run Derby Contest on the deck of the USS Midway Aircraft Carrier in San Diego. So home runs into the ocean. You down with that? It's very swingy. Uh, he, he probably win it. <laughs> he probably win it. From what I hear, he can still mash out there. I heard he's still crushing it. Barry Bonds can still swing it. And he's the hitting coach for the, the Miami Marlins They're going right to have people now. on uh, uh, whatever, uh, what, the surfboards and whatever. Yeah, grabbing yeah paddle boards, uh, kayaks, because I guess they did the math. You've got two minutes before that baseball <laughs> sinks. So home runs into the bay, and guys are going to race over to get those baseballs from the home run derby come. See, with minor league sports, you can do stuff like that. You can do fun things, different things to kind of attract the fans. Yeah, it'll just be another odd thing that happened on the midway. All right, now we're switching gears to Greg Bell here. We're talking Los Angeles Rams, we're talking NFL draft. we got so much to get to. We've only got a couple minutes left in this segment, and then we're going to break. You Wait. mean you brought me on for a second? <laughs> for two seconds. Maybe even three That's seconds. That's deleted. I don't know. It's the tease. It's the the tease. tease. Okay. Let me ask you this. So the Rams sold the farm to go to number one in the NFL draft. And well, hold on, because here's my opinion. They're going to go for a quarterback. But I, you Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't see a franchise quarterback in this draft. Greg, why did they do that? Well, I don't work for the Rams, so I can't give you an answer, but I will give you the answer. But you can you're, hold on, you have hold on. all the inside you knowledge. This one, though. Okay. I'm going to give you the answer that Jerry Jones gave the city of Inglewood. He says he was also a part of giving up the farm. You either can win with it or you can lose with it. <laughs> yeah. And they went, but they went all in, right? They got that number in. one pick. You know, and we don't know what they're going to do with it right now. Remember that it's still a week away. And everybody can assume that they're going to go with one of the quarterbacks. But who, who knows? They might come up with another farm deal. What, what about this? What if they select a quarterback knowing that there's another team out there that wants that quarterback and they pull off a big deal on tra- draft day? There's so, no? many, there's so many moving parts in that I can't even see it happening. Yeah, I, I can't see that one happening. You'd have to know what other teams are going to do. Hope that they're going to no, want say, the pick you're going to give say, them. Let's say the 49ers are like whatever pick. We really like wait, golf. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me ask you a question. Yes. Do you think the 49ers are that much more, uh, have more insight or less insight than the Rams would have at this point in the game? Because we got two guys that everyone's talking about. Yeah. Um, and you yourself. I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I might not have them rated that high. And we're talking about the number one pick. This is the face of the franchise, yeah. not for four years. For, you know, when you're talking franchises, eight. Yeah. So... Two contracts, right? I, I don't know. Uh, that's all I can tell you. I wish I could have the crystal ball because, you know, not only is, can you win with it, you can lose with it. I mean, because that's a big gamble, hey, right? You can either keep a job or you can lose a job. Yeah. Sure that. I mean, they they be I, think, I think in the case of, of Fisher that this is the big movie he's going to make because he's had some rough years. He's got to show something. The Rams need to have a good season to draw more people in, and they're going to have a couple good seasons leading into the new stadium because you've got to sell season tickets into a new stadium that are going to be a lot stadium. more. And the, here's the thing. Don't put it all on Jeff Fisher. Okay, cause okay he, I didn't do that. Sorry. He, he coaches. Yeah. Les Need has something to good. I mean, he, he's the general manager. Yeah, he's calling some So shots. he's calling this shot. I mean, this was all his move. And, I mean, when you think about it, 
it's, you know, Stan Crockett, he can make any kind of call he wants. Yeah. Let's face it. If I'm a billionaire, That's I'm making a call. The time, and right. So if that, if this is the up, upper level decision, less and Stan, you know, Stan's putting a lot on this as well. Yeah. So uh, I'm not going to put it on Jeff Fisher because Jeff has done a good job in places he's been. He's just had a rough go. And okay, hold, hold, all those things hold, play. Oh. Hold, hold on a second. So if they get their quarterback, he's going to look like a genius. If it backfires, it's going to get ugly. Which quarterback will they take number one? Greg, we're going to ask you that question as soon as we come back right here on the Inland Sports Show, Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. Every sport that we offer here, the performance training is definitely specific to what they need. come in here for the performance training and also we have our travel ball program with our softball and baseball teams. Our performance training definitely to get quicker, stronger, and faster. on the customer here. Believe it or not, that is the biggest thing for customers on an oil change. They just want to, the convenience of coming in, driving in, getting it done, and, and driving out. Just greet them, get them going, and they're done in about 10 minutes or so. We don't push any sales on them. We do the oil change, uh, and I think that's, that's what sets us apart is our, our customer service. Vacuumed and cleaned your windshield for you as well. Everything's looking pretty good. Come into us one time, believe me, we'll spoil you and you'll be ready to come back the next time. Every sport that we offer here, the performance training is definitely specific to what they need. performance training and also we have our travel ball program with our softball and baseball teams. Welcome back to the Inland Sports Show, Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. Listen, not many times the Big West Conference trophy comes in here. What am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to take a picture with it, right? Yeah, number one golf balls. All oh, deal. It's great. You see Riverside logo on it, so congrats to the ladies uh, winning that conference championship of Hawaii. Greg, are you a golfer? <laughs> uh, like I told them, I do some hacking. Oh, and Coach, Thank Coach Richie. Thank you, so Thank you Coach Ball Richie. Balls too. Oh my gosh, and they brought awesome. gifts. I love them even more. We'll keep plugging up 40 bits. Oh, Thank you, you very it. much. You got it. As I told her, if I can play one course with one sleeve of balls, I'm a happy man for the day. Wow. Yeah, there you go. Uh, how many sleeves of balls do you need for, yeah. for a round of golf? I would take one out because after that, I just, just drive. Done, right? I'm just done. done. I'm done. All right, so well. three holes in, you're done? Oh, no, I can play better <laughs> than that now. Welcome back to the Inland Sports Sorry. Show, Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. Brought to you by Adrenaline Athletic Training, spoiled quick quality oil change, and Remax Advantage. Nobody sells more real estate. Uh, just drop that mic just a little bit, Zing. So, Greg, let me ask you. The number one pick, it looks like it's boiling down to Goff and Wentz, quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. Listen, you're a man about town. You, you, you're a mover and a shaker. You know guys on the Rams on the inside. You are our source. What's your gut? What's your gut telling you? Who do the Rams go with? Well, I think when you when you start making a decision like this, you've got to take a lot of things into account. And I think it, history has shown us sometimes that, you know, uh, coming from a lower level doesn't always add up to the National Football League. I'm not saying that uh, Wentz coming from that Division II level is going to make a difference, but I think the, the speed of the game is, is probably better suited for golf. If I were going to make the choice, and those were my only two choices, I think I'm going to go with someone who, who, who the speed of the game, because that's really the difference here. Uh, you don't, 
when you're an athlete, it's really about your reaction time and your speed and recovery. Uh, I tell people all the time, the only difference in high school and college is the speed. And really the only difference in pros in, in college is the speed of the game. And I, I would personally have to go with golf. Talking with Greg Bell, former Bill, former Raider, former Ram, NFL star. He's here joining us talking about the Los Angeles Rams. Let me give you option C, Greg. Do you not even go quarterback? Do you think these guys aren't franchise guys? Well, Joey Bosa is kind of a hard thing to walk away from. I'm sure, tell you. from Ohio you know, State, right? Exactly. And, I, and I, you, win team, you win games on defense. Do you really trade yourself up? To go get to some go other a quarterback. quarterback. I don't think Franchise so. Franchise player. For I Kevin mean, unless, Costner. unless, unless, <laughs> no, wait, wait, there, there are few. They for Kevin Costner in draft day. Of yeah. course, and that's fiction. Uh, but <laughs> could happen, right? It, it, it happens. It doesn't happen more often than not. I'm just pointing out that when you take that much risk, do you take that to go get a, a left tackle? <laughs> They're important. They There's a lot of Hall of Fame left tackles that weren't taken that early. Well, here, here's the thing. Like I said, they're, they're, we're a week away from that opportunity. And a lot's going to occur in the next five days, you know. You got Sunday, they're on the phones, guys. They don't take a day off between now and Thursday. There's no day off right now. Don't think that the Rams aren't thinking about doing something with this pick because there could be a better offer. I've said on this very show, you can correct me if I'm wrong because you're the Rams guy, uh, I said I feel like there's going to be a max, mass exodus to the Rams. Like players from around the league who are from Southern California – might want to come back home. Will the Rams have the pick of the litter? Are they going to be able to t tell guys, no, we can only have, you know, there's only so many roster spots, but everybody wants to come back home? Well, I think remember we're guys one thing off. about coming back home. You bring in a lot of external problems that come with coming the back home. The drama around There's no drama you know, being a pro I, family, family, right? I, I'm going to tell you no, what. Sometimes the greatest thing for a guy is to play and create a career somewhere else. Sometimes playing at home could be a, a joy, and sometimes it could be a nightmare. So being from Columbus, Ohio, right? You mm -hmm. played at Notre Dame. Did you want to just get out of the Midwest? Uh, no, I mean, be, be, just being fair, I, I, I committed to Florida State initially. Uh, it became just a choice of what what that school had to offer me. Uh, it, it was, you know, it wasn't just a, a football decision. It became a life decision for me. And and going to Notre Dame, you know, it meant that I was going to be making my own footpath because you know most of the kids who are you know all state, all American from Ohio. They stay and go to the Ohio State. I was looking at your stats, read your Wikipedia page, <laughs> got on there, got all the numbers. Did you see the guy that they had for my face? I clicked on there, and the guy was Caucasian. <laughs> was it you? <laughs> it wasn't even me. <laughs> Who's the other Greg Bell out there? I mean, I, I can't figure out Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, is he officially now the Greg Bell? No. no. The real Greg Bell. Wait, so you clicked on your Wikipedia page, I and it was all about you, the, but the picture and, wasn't. And it was, I looked and said, man, this, I said, this is good. This is just great. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, who in the world is that guy? Is I don't know Greg if I said it that way, but I mean. <laughs> I'm well, I, know, it up a bit. I know that Greg Bell gets better benefit out of his name than you do because he's done nothing. And people are like, didn't you play in the NFL? <laughs> not, not that Greg Bell. <laughs> not that Greg Bell. We're talking with the Greg Bell here on the Inland Sports Show, Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM, plus live and amplified around the world on the Inland Sports Channel. Uh, Greg, so... The nature of the NFL is running backs come and go, right? I mean, you've got like a small window to really have some productive years. Has the game changed since you played? To oh, I think so. It has mean, it? I, I mean, we were talking about it just earlier. I, I think the part of the thing with the speed of the game is also the size of the game. Uh, when you start comparing running backs, when I came into the National Football League, you know, I'm 5'11", I was about 215 pounds. I was considered a big back. Now, 6'3", 245, Derrick Henry, Steven Jackson. Those are what you call big backs, and they're also fast backs, and they're elusive. So the game has changed from a standpoint the size of the man, and that's also the, si the, the, the basically the, the feel of the hits now, too. Yeah. The collisions are much greater, and I think that's part of all you're seeing with the CTE and all this other stuff. It's a lot of collisions, guys, and, and you know the one thing about this game is it teaches you life, and it, it separates the men's from the boys. You were talking about, you had a conversation with somebody, and they said, Greg, you were fast. You had to bust out some old video. And be like, yeah, I was good, man. You know what? It's kind of funny. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm probably about 260 now. I got to keep trimming down. I got to get smaller. But it's like, when I was 210, you know, I was a 25-foot long jumper in college, not in high school. I mean, I was a 25-foot long jumper in high school, but I, was, I, could, I could propel. So 
I joke with my buddy. He texts me, man, I'm seeing you running a 98 yard. It's like I'm a pretty, I was, I was a college <laughs> sprinter too. I had some wheels. You had some wheels back in the day. I had some wheels. Hey, Greg, you're also part of a, a very cool foundation that does a lot of camps, including here right here in the Inland Empire. Can you talk more about that? We have the Athletes for Life uh, Summer Life Skill Program that we get. This year we're super excited because we're, and, and on top of it being a great sports program, we've got probably one of the best educational pro programs for kids during the summer. Uh, the Cal State San Bernardino is actually going to be providing the educational components for us. So it's something that's special. Probably the biggest thing that makes it special of all probably the largest free camp in the, in the country. Every kid, over 300 kids, girls and boys from the Inland Empire get an opportunity not only to meet some of the heroes and see some of the, even the, the, the Hollywood celebrities that we get out, but they're actually getting a chance to learn something that's going to help them. The ELAs, the Common Core education that they're going to be learning, the second to none. We're going to get that information. We're going to put it on the Inland Sports website so Perfect. kids can uh, learn more about it. Greg, we want you to stay here because this is intern Ja Rule. He looks like Ja Rule, right? Looks like Ja Rule, sounds like Ja Rule. We give him a quiz. He's an intern right now, Cal State Northridge. So we give him quizzes at the end of every show. And the deal is, if he goes three for three on these quizzes, gets them all the, all the questions right, we're going to give him a dinner gift card. Now, Zinc has three questions for him. I have three questions for him. We're running out of time, so we've got to make this quick. Do you want to go first or me, Zinc? You go first. Okay, question number one. Kawhi Leonard is not the only NBA player out of King High School in Riverside. Ja Rule, who is the other player out of King High School in the NBA right now? Um, in the NBA right now? Sure. Yeah, right now. Um, like today. 2016. <laughs> the only other guy I know is Tony Snell, but he's from MLK, right? That's right! No, Tony Snell. <laughs> Listen, you just backed into that one. You're hey. right, Ja Rule. Oh, Ja Rule, okay. just so you know, King High School and MLK. MLK. Uh, it, it really means oh, the same thing. thing. Uh, yeah, it's really same the same thing. thing. Same okay. thing. Okay, we're one for one. Thank you, Greg, for pointing that out. I appreciate that. That's all I'm making for myself. Number two. I, I thought this was the guy who went to USC for a minute. Northridge. This oh. is the USC guy over here. That makes more sense. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Number two. Uh, we interviewed Kenny Clark. He's going to be picked in the NFL draft, right? We just talked to him. 30 minutes ago. Right. What high school did Kenny Clark go to? Carter. Carter, two for two. I was you, paying attention. Oh, okay. Oh, you're you're lobbying wait, questions wait, hold on, at hold on, him. We're out of time. We got to keep this moving. Number three, Greg Bell, who's standing right next to you. Oh. All around good guy, <laughs> former NFL star. What three teams did Greg Bell play for? Oh, my gosh. Okay, yeah. wait, I've said it. Hit. Listen, I've said it at least five times during this broadcast. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I, I heard the Bills, obviously the Rams, the, the third one. <sighs> Uh, Man, there's a lot of I can feel the pressure in this. Room. I know, I'm like sweaty right now. You guys feel that? Oh, come on. I, I just don't Three. Know. Three seconds. Two. It's got a nation. One. Ah, oh, man. The Raiders. Oh, man. All right, Raider, Zeke, we Raider got two nation. minutes. Okay, so, uh, true or false? The Miller, or excuse me, the Bonds boys were named the same. No. <laughs> no, it's true or true. false. True or false. False. <laughs> it's true. They were named the same. They were same both name. named Robert. Hey, true one or false. was nicknamed Bobby. <laughs> All of George Foreman's kids are named George. <laughs> false. No, they all have George. No, they're all that's true. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, true. False. <laughs> yeah. Okay, right. here I got one more. Okay. The Miller family. You know Cheryl, yeah. Reggie. Okay, they had a brother. Who played baseball? What's his first name? I don't know that one. Daryl Miller. Oh See, here's the problem. Gosh. You told him to study baseball. He came in here with all these baseball notes, and we didn't give him any baseball questions. I gave, just questions. gave him a baseball question. He just played for the Angels. And, and he's still working oh, for the Angels. Man. Intern Jaw Rule, there's always next week. That's the good news. Next week we'll do this again. God, and you're hurts. learning on the job. Your nickname now is Jaw Rome. <laughs> 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 It's a compliment. This guy's a star over here. It's a compliment. You know, you just got to turn that around and make it right, Josh. Right. Make it right. Oh, man, what a show. It's all brought to you by Adrenaline Athletic Training in Corona. AdrenalineAthletic.com is the website. Check out the website for more information on their travel ball teams and training programs. Spoiled. 
quick quality oil change in Riverside. Check out Bill Navigato and his team. Get your car back on the road. And Remax Advantage, nobody sells more real estate than Remax Advantage. 909-307-5665. Visit RemaxAdvantage.me or LakeArrowheadRemax.com for more information. Bell, uh, Greg Bell, it's been a treat. You're the, you're the man. You already I know that, but you're the man. And don't forget, yes, the price is right. The price is right. <laughs> ja Wrong. That's a, we got to change that nickname, right? Yeah, he is Ja Wrong. That's <laughs> pretty funny. All right, we'll see you next week right here on the one and only Inland Sports Show, Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM.